Alright. Hello, hello everyone. Welcome. How's everyone doing? Hope everyone's having a great night or day, depending on what time it is for you. Happy Tuesday. If it's still Tuesday for you, then happy Tuesday. Tonight, we are starting a new game. Finally, right after playing Pokemon. Like, I would say, well, every day for the past week or so. Um, I think it's been like two, I don't know, about almost two weeks. But, yeah, we are going back to, uh, you know, regular, you know, scheduled streams. So, again, if you guys don't know, we are moving Pokemon streams to the weekends. So, Saturday and Sunday. But, Wednesdays and Thursdays are going to be for this game, Fire Emblem Warriors Three Hopes. So, <clears throat> um, in case you guys don't know, I guess, I guess people here on Twitch wouldn't know. But, in case you guys do know, I have played the first Fire Emblem Warriors game on on stream before but not on twitch um back when i think i don't know when the first game came out but but i i did play the first game like after it came out i don't know how long after it came out but i had played it on stream but this was back when mixer was still a thing and um this is back when i was testing the mixer platform and one of the games I played on there and I played to completion over on Mixer was the first Fire Emblem Warriors game, which I did enjoy. It was a cool game, but then again, I do like, um, you know, all the, I do like, you know, all the Warriors spin-off games. Not really the actual, you know, uh, Dynasty Warriors games, but Warriors games are, well, kind of my jam. <laughs> I do like them. <clears throat> Fire Emblem games, on the other hand, like the actual Fire Emblem game, is not my cup of tea because they're more like a um, like a, a strategy game, I believe, like a tile movement strategy type game. I think um, those <laughs> are not my type of game. I don't know, um, but Warriors games are. My cup of tea where you just go around beat hordes of enemies stuff like that so yeah here we are playing the second game so this the uh, three hopes does not follow up it's not a sequel to the first fire emblem game at least i don't think well no i don't think it's i think um three hopes is a somewhat sequel or is somewhat connected to Fire Emblem Three Houses. Um I don't know. I haven't played Three Houses. Again, like I said, the main Fire Emblem games I have an interest in because again, games. So this game has a like a connection to Either this is either a sequel. I don't know if this game is a sequel, but um, it's like a connection to Three Houses. I'm sure. Uh, but either way, you're gonna be playing this on Wednesdays and Thursdays on streams. So I hope you guys are looking forward to the um, to Fire Emblem Warriors Three Hopes. Um, I have played a bit of this game um, through the demo because uh, there is a demo for this game. I have played a bit of it. Um, I don't remember up to what point I stopped at but I have played a little bit of it um, but uh, yeah I wanted to play this on stream experience of course new games with guys on stream <clears throat> and those I guess who are uh, watching on YouTube whenever I export this to YouTube or when I export this to YouTube but yeah, hope you guys are looking forward to Three Hopes and uh, jump in, shall we? Game. Um, we're gonna do normal. 
Only units rise again after the battle ends. Classic. Only units are lost forever. Every decision counts. So I think this is a um, the fire emblem thing, where it's kind of like a um, a permadeath type situation, I guess. So if you lose someone, then of course die. Can't use them anymore. Um, I'm pretty sure this is just a fire emblem thing. Not a, like, typical Warriors game type feature, but I'm pretty sure, yeah, Fire Emblem. So we're not gonna do Classic, we're just gonna do Casual, because knowing me, I'm pretty sure we'll have some, <laughs> some units die, and then we won't be able to use them again once we reach Chapter 4. So, yeah, I don't trust myself <laughs> to doing a permadeath from a death um situation so we are gonna do pull uh, casual on steady take more time to examine strategic information like level up stats mission brief little to mid battle tutorial the action flowing, turning off level up windows. Here. Um I think Let's do quick and efficient. I begin the game with these settings. Difficulty normal, game mode casual, play style, quick and I don't actually quite remember what happened when I play this, so will be a refresher for the first few moments, chapters maybe. I don't even know how many chapters I played when I played through the demo. But the demo does uh, let you play through the first couple of chapters. I don't know. I don't know most of, never the, come to an end? most of these characters. Play Fire Emblem, and the characters I do know, I know from Smash Brothers. <laughs> so I do apologize if I, you know, don't know these characters. Where is that freeloader? They're talking about us. If I remember correct. <clears throat> I know you're napping around here somewhere. On your feet and back to work already, yeah? Napping. In a way. Near Imperial uh, Border finally. Alliance. Come territory. on, sunshine. Up and at him. Okay, so we get to choose what our character looks like, or uh, our form. <laughs> Game's case, our form. When I played the demo, I went with more feminine form, I guess. <clears throat> hey, 
Get up already! <sighs> Sorry, what's going on? What's going on? <laughs> Did your head spring a leak while you were napping? Better see if you can even remember your name. Hmm. Is fault name. Well, of course, since we are a more feminine character, we'll go with our usual feminine name that we use. Yeah. Correct? Yeah. Well, looks like there's hope for you yet. Main ignorance of <clears throat> I don't know if like choices really matter in this game. Pretty sure they do in usual but doing this one. Geez, friend, I'm all right. Is the battle at hand? Of course it is. Why else would I be standing here? You heard who we're up against, yeah? Geralt's mercenaries. Gonna be one hell of a fight if true, especially if the Ashen Demon is here. Don't like a smidge of what I've heard about that fella. Or was it a woman? Leave it to you to fumble the details. Did you even catch this Ashen Demon's name? Of course I did. It was... I, by the goddess, it's right on the tip of my tongue. I forgot what this character's name was. I know this character's... Uh, this person was in... is in Smash Brothers. Um... Pretty sure though, somewhat. Byleth, there you go. Byleth was. Um. It's funny that we can actually choose the name. Byleth. Um. What should we call? Byleth. I don't... I am bad with coming up with names. Um... What's a good, I guess, demon? Or a demon? Maybe we'll just stick with Byleth. <laughs> I don't know. Uh... Du -du 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 -du. Yes. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, I guess we'll do more. <laughs> Do more. <sighs> yeah, that's it. Demon or no demon, our job is to fight and win. <laughs> you sound just like the captain. I know they paid up front, but come on. Well, at least one of you has some courage. You've certainly come a long way since I plucked you from that mountain village. But this battle is about more than just victory. Gerald's team has a sterling reputation. Rumor has it they've never blundered even a single job. But once we put them to rout, we'll finally be the greatest mercenaries in all of Leicester. Leicester? How do you pronounce that? Activity detected, Captain. Looks like we'll be fighting by moonlight. Mind you don't kill each other in the dark. But evil by moonlight. <laughs> That's the immediate thing I thought of when she said that. Wasn't expecting a fight so soon, but I guess there's nothing for it. You ready? When this Ooh. is over, we'll all greet the new dawn together. <laughs> you sure are a cocky little thing. But yeah, all right. I'll be there. Right. All right, let's get down to business. We're up against Gerald's mercenaries. Let's get down to business. To defeat Gerald. If my battle tutorial pops up is set to auto, only key tutorial pop ups will display automatically, while others will display as a tutorial notification. If my battle tutorial pop ups is set to off, all tutorial uh, will. Location. Press left. E. And I guess what? When a tutorial notification appears to show the full pop. Let's move it. Out. <clears throat> Drive them straight into their graves. Go. Class action details. Every class has its own unique class action. This is currently a Myrmid. Myrmidon. Um, hold X to charge the class gauge and release it to per uh, perform a sweeping attack. You can move while charging. Press and hold X during a strong attack to the charge type class action. Take 
something tougher than this. Hey, you! Clear out that group over there! Okay. When an arrow is displayed over an enemy's head, press right stick to lock on to them. While locked on, the camera will stay focused on your target. Stick left or right to change target. Display quick menu. Quick menu on display. It's to use combat arts or magic. Not use the same combat art or magic mode. So instead, must wait for a certain amount of time. Using combat arts and magic will reduce its durability. If durability gets too low, you'll be. We're starting the end of the battle. Ooh. So we can all drown ourselves in ale. At times, the stun gauge will appear over an enemy commander's head. Continue attacking to completely deplete the gauge, and then press X to perform a critical rush. Stun gauge displays when you land certain attacks against the enemy, or when the enemy certain moves. Stun gauge displays when hitting an enemy with offensive combat arts or magic, executing a perfect guard, enemies preparing to use combat arts or magic. Back knocks an enemy back. Capture <clears throat> complete. The captain ran off ahead of us. Is she gonna be okay? Master your fear and advance! Keep your eyes open. We still don't know if the Ashen Demon is here. with some teeth showed up, but they still don't stand a chance against Burling's mercenaries. Now isn't this a sight? You must be the infamous Ashen Demon. I can't wait to tear you apart. This'll be the end of the Ashen Demon. No one can beat the Captain. What? Captain? When they took out Lasley, like she was nothing. Ugh. I can't believe I'm losing to some damn kid. Captain hey. Burling's in trouble. I have to reach her before it's too late. There's so many of them. I need one thing to do about that. Okay, when your warrior gauge is full, press A to unleash your warrior special. To fill the warrior gauge, deal damage to enemies, take damage from the targets. 
<laughs> Our captain died. Get some more. <laughs> oh, I know that's not a funny situation. Though. The way we named uh, the demon, the Ashen Demon. Perfect for this. Be hot though. Stand down or die. We're gonna stand. We're gonna fight. Are you running We're to gonna her? avenge the captain. Ooh, 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 ooh. Doing nothing to her. of this world. I will not allow it to perish with you. We get a friend. And a fancy sword. <clears throat> now we look like demon. <laughs> Where did you get that power? No idea. That's just what I need to bring you down. We're still not really doing it. We're here to help. But this fight is over. Hey, wait! Why? We've achieved our goal. Your job was to stop us, and you failed. 
Another time, perhaps. Hey, we're not done here! Why, why am I so tired? Not sure I would have been able to sleep at night with your <laughs> blood on my hands. <clears throat> Who are you? Ha! Now that is a tricky question. For the moment, why don't you call me Arval? Arval, huh? Arval. But for now, let me speak plain. You are slated to die. <laughs> right now, I'm the only thing holding your meager life together. And to be blunt, it's beginning to tire me. Um, thank you? <laughs> oh, oh, my. That's the first time anyone has ever shown me gratitude. And I must say, I like it very much. Hear me well. You are a crucial piece of this world's cyclical... T yeah, uh, no, this will never do. You're far too groggy to absorb what I'm saying. For now, I needn't tell you how you'll get back on your feet. I need only convince you that you will. Is this a dream? I remember collapsing, but then... You're half right, which also means you're half wrong. But full marks for effort. <clears throat> Still, <throat> the important thing is what you do after you wake. And what should that be? Recall, please, how the Ashen Demon bested you. Came within an inch of snuffing out your life. If you attempt the fight again the same way, you will reach the same conclusion. This would force me to step in once more, which would be most annoying and also rather counterproductive, if I'm honest. Then I'll get stronger. The woman I am now will seem like a little kid in comparison. And one day, I will surpass the Ashen Demon. I swear it. Indeed. My captain and comrades are dead. The company is finished. So there's only one thing I can do. Start over. Huh. I thought you'd be more sentimental. Did they not take you in? Care for you? Gold's the only thing that ever held us together. And death is something we're all too used to. I never knew my real parents, and I lost the mother who raised me. Partings just come easy to me, I guess. The best way to honor my fallen comrades is by training hard and growing even stronger. Then I'll crush Geralt's mercenaries, and the Ashen Demon with them. That's what I'm going to live for now. Oh, but I like your spirit, though I expected no less from my partner in destiny. I'm sorry, what? Yes, I suppose that was a bit sudden. I should remember, take intimacy in smaller steps. The point is that I'm here to guide you, and I promise to help you find the strength to see your dreams realized. Okay. <laughs> Prologue, a chance Prologue. encounter. A chance encounter. Oops. Got they read out the chapter stuff. The continent of Fodlan, said to be protected by a goddess, has existed for uncountable ages. Now, three ruling powers control the land. To the south is a region held for more than a thousand years by the Adrestian Empire. To the north is the Holy Kingdom of Fargus, ruled by the royal family and its knights. 
And to the east, a league of nobles that bends no knee rules the Leicester Alliance. Though once consumed in war, these three powers now exist in relative harmony. Nestled between them is Garrick Mark <coughs> Monastery, seat of the Church of Saros, the land's widely practiced faith and a power that helps to maintain peace across the continent. Not far from the monastery, at the northern edge of the empire, is a small village called Ramayar, and west of this place stretches a forest where a lone mercenary awaits. Hey, wake up! Ugh, how many times must we do this? Get up already! Huh? That's weird. This woods, in part. <clears throat> I could have sworn I heard someone calling me. It's still dark out, though. Hello? Yes, I was calling you. Many times, I might add. Come on, I told you not to sneak up on me like that. As if I have a choice. Do you know how many times you would have died by now if not for me? I'll tell you. 22. The fuck? The three times you leapt off a cliff to quote unquote get tougher saved you. Those five mad attempts to dispatch a horde of monsters by yourself saved you. <laughs> And tonight, despite my repeated warnings, you took the wrong path and ended up having to sleep on a bed of leaves in the middle of the woods. And yourself, think about your mistake. Just for your actions. Oh. <sighs> Ignoring me, hmm? I'll take that to mean I touched a nerve. At any rate, we all make a few mistakes along the way. And by we, I mean you. And by a few, I mean far, far more than average. <laughs> now then, with that out of the way, would you like to know why I've roused you from your mud-caked slumber? Yep. Actually, it's probably easier to show rather than tell at this point. Look over there, if you would. Hmm? Stop plowing ahead, Claude. You're going to get us lost. Lost, schmast. We've got it on Imperial authority that this is the way to the village. <sighs> True, I said there was a village, but how could anyone know where it is in the thick of these mountains? I can't even say for certain where we are in all this gloom. Okay, new plan. I'll rely on my keen senses to navigate. Lucky for you, they're sharp as an arrow. Hold, both of you. Someone's here. Another bandit, perhaps? They're mistaking you for some common backwater thief. What cheek. What cheek. Well, hold on there. I'm no bandit. I'm a mercenary. Well, that makes everything better. A bandit would be far less out of place in these woods than a sellsword. What brings you here? We've no time for an interrogation. Our pursuers are closing in. I don't know who you people are or what you want, but I think introductions can wait. You clearly need every blade you can find, and my pockets have been feeling awfully light lately. What do you say? <laughs> <clears throat> Stronghold. Our fields contain strongholds that are controlled by various forces engaged in battle. Enemies and allies alike will slowly regain HP stronghold under their own control. Excuse me. <clears throat> you can capture a stronghold by defeating the stronghold captain. Well, since you're here, do you mind stepping in and helping us chase off these scary bandits? Don't worry about paper. You'll receive plenty of coin if we survive that. Changing classes and new abilities. This change. 
Plus under unique ability, there are three types of unique action support. Tactical. Ring battle, press left to check the class, and... Holy. Google okay. unique action ability, Shadow Flash. Gain a chance to perform a few attacks that instantly defeat non command units. Chance increases with hit count. Press the R to dash a short distance. Unique support ability, Mortal Coil. HP is at 90% or above. Increase the warrior gauge fill rate. Unique tactical ability, Mercenary Creed. Order to attack, face damage dealt to enemy spike. Sword Warding class exclusive to Blitz. Magic, strong against axes, stirring any strong attack to chain axe. Class action details, press X to launch an attack. Last gauge will charge over time. Yeah, will charge over time and the class gauge fills completely. You'll add a sword icon to your stock. Max 2. You have two sword icons in your stock chain. <clears throat> chain X to change your attack. Interesting. and entities advantage icons will be displayed over on the minimap or above in enemy commanders heads when you have an effect against them the more advantages effects you have against the enemy the more up arrows there will be and the easier it will be to increase their stun gauge the enemy will also get knocked back more easily when attacked Advantage can be determined by class. The class abilities on the status screens uh, to see detail against which enemies. Being a fighter class equipped with an axe, metal guard, idle guard, idle guard. The idle guard. I I remember. <laughs> I remember. I couldn't remember how to pronounce uh, her name, if it was Idle Guard or Idle Guard. <laughs> um, Idle Guard, I think. Um, has a strong advantage against Lance Wooding in. I'll deal with things here. Watch this! Show you a trick for dealing with heavily defended enemies. Yeah. And that's how it's done. Don't overstep, Edelgard. Edelgard. I think he said Edelgard. I'm pretty sure he said Edelgard. Upward down D pad to change the unit currently controlling. Also, select a unit screen. Dimitri is a soldier class with a strong advantage against sword wielding enemies. Mm -hmm. 
switch to him and fight. Take a breather. I'll take over. I won't allow anyone to stop. You're making me feel bad for the enemy team. You like that? Hey, Apologies, but it was you or me. Just who are these people anyway? All three of them have crests. What's wrong with you? They're just a bunch of brats. Stop embarrassing yourself and stand your ground already. Is it clock time? I think it's clock time. It's clock time. No problem. Okay, extra effective. Weapon. Weapon, combat art, or magic that is extra effective gives it a huge advantage against a specific enemy. For an extra effective, you have three tiers greater, three tiers greater advantage against enemy. Damage, the stun gauge plays a point. <clears throat> Examples of skills that grant effectiveness. Effective versus armored units. Extra effectiveness versus armor. Uh, armor classes such as armored. Effective versus cavalry. Effective or extra effectiveness for cavalry classes such as cavalier. Effective versus flyers. Extra effectiveness versus flying. Pegasus knight. Effective versus monsters. Effect uh, extra effectiveness versus monster. Giant wolf and demon. Flying classes such as Pegasus Knights and Avon Riders are vulnerable to the ability effective versus flyers. Switch to uh, switch your active unit to Claude, who has a bow equipped. I got it. I'm a master of strategy, but I'm not really used to being on the front lines. Very sharp, Claude. As you sorry. Thank you. He got lucky there. Well, lucky for me, I guess. Not so much for you. Bandits have a firm hold on the central road. It would be wise to move through the forest and take down the strongholds as we go. Try and keep an eye on who we're fighting, and make sure we've got the right person leading the charge at the right time. Mission order. Press plus during battle to issue orders from here. Uh, A to select you and issue. You can order a unit to move to a selected location, attack enemies, and capture enemy strongholds, guard allies, and defend strongholds, heal using vulner vulnerabilities? Something like that. Uh, you can use auto battle to determine the Action for units who don't give direct to issue. Okay, let's try this. Yeah. Let's see how this goes. We will proceed as planned. Oh, gosh. We must strive to perform to the best of our ability. Here I go. No yeah. mistakes. Yeah. They must learn who they're up against. You have issue orders to all your allies. Use bliss to capture their stronghold. Switch between the orders. <clears throat> And battle screens with. Take a breather. All right, take it down. Rick plots the. What do you find on the battlefield to receive gold? Or We 
managed to contain things here. What shot of defenses? We'll be done before we know it if they're all like this. I don't want to worry over you too much, but do make sure to heal if you're hurt. Vulnerarities or vulner vulneraries like earlier. Vulner vulneraries. Uh, press right plus B to use a vulnerary and restore your HP. The available number of vulnerary vulneraries will be refilled. That ought to unravel their defenses. Enough of this strategy nonsense! Get up there and tear them all to pieces! Okay, how... How many thugs does this guy have working for him anyway? of Seros are here, and we'll cut you down for terrorizing our students. I remember this guy. I think, if I remember correctly, I think he uses a lot of puns. I think so. Watch out! They're gonna make a last-ditch effort to rush our position. Offensive. Select all out offensive from orders. All available your attack is selected target. This is a good option for simply want to over. I've got this. Launch an all out offensive on Costas. Resume the battle and defeat Costas with your ally. Awakening. The awakening gauge is filled. Press R and A to awaken. Units will remain awakened until the gauge defeats. You press R plus A to cancel the awakened state. Awaken all attacks will make stun gauge appear. Stun gauge will deplete quickly regardless of advantage. You receive bonuses based on the number of it. Your HP will not take it. To fill the awakening gauge, pick up blue tonics down. Press A while awakened. Completely complete the awakened gauge to trigger a warrior special and end the awakened state. You cannot. Do you feel that power? Maybe you can channel it like you did in the other battle. What up? Uh, defeat enemies and gain experience leveling up your units and improving their stats. Your units have growth with the qualities. Strength, dirty effects. 
critical hit rate, speed of awakened state, crash time for magic, luck effects of every items, defense, resistance, charm, affects drain rate of a lion's to perish here. I'm afraid yeah. we must spare no mercy for you. Uh, never should have taken this job. Is it over? Stage complete. Alright. You obtain the following as an S rank. Or eight for uh eight. Ian? After battle, battle rank will grade you based on your performance in battle. Five ranks S, A, B, C, and D. Our ranks by night experience and battle rank is determined by three factors completion time, enemies defeated, damage taken. Additionally, the first time you complete a quest, you will receive a report. You will also receive an S rank reward. So, Double up. Gotta keep aiming higher. I won't let myself stop here. The MVP! Hey, load up again. The unit who performed the best in a battle will be selected as the MVP. The MVP unit will experience. Double up. Gotta keep aiming higher. Combat Arts and Magic. Combat Arts and Magic will level up that have been used times. This will make them stronger and reduce weapon dirt when they are. Class experience and class. Minions participating in a battle will receive class experience in battle. This raises their class level. They will acquire new combat arts, magic, and abilities in their weapon level. When this weapon level increases, they'll be able to put more powerful weapons, be able to attack more consecutively. Acquiring weapons and resources. In the battle, you'll be able to check the content of weapon packs and resources. Resource pouches to acquire battle. If you've reached your inventory limit, excess items will be sold off. Wait, Verona, what is this? A variety of Verona permanently increases resistance to go bullion that sells for jobs. Okay. Stone, Venom Stone, Air Mid, E, the Tree. Thousand Gold. We should. Hang on, you're seriously the Imperial Princess, the Crown Prince, and the heir to the Alliance? Yes, and as the three of us are now in your debt, I think formal introductions are in order. My name is Edelgard von Hressfeld, Princess of the Adrestian Empire. 
I am Dimitri Alexandra Blathed, Crown Prince of the Holy Kingdom of Fargus. And I'm Claude Von Regan, grandson of the leader of the Leicester Alliance. Things looked grim there for a moment. Thanks to you, we put those bandits to flight. Bit of a miracle we ran into you out there, but hey, I'll take it. Oh, sorry for your heroic deeds. It was a team effort. I, I, I only fought well because I had such fine companions by my side. There may be some truth to that. I can't shake the feeling that we were destined to meet somehow. <laughs> well, aren't they an unlikely trio? I wonder why those bandits were after them. Still, it's no concern of ours. We have our own plans to attend to. Now, collect your pay and be off before they get a wild idea and ask you to join them. Say, while I have you here... Do you know where I can find Remire Village? I took a wrong turn somewhere along the way. I'm looking for a band of hardened mercenaries who follow a man named Gerald. I hear rumors that's where they're camped. Actually, Remire might just be the village we've been looking for, too. That ring a bell, Edelgard? I don't remember hearing anything about Mercs, but... The name sounds correct, at least. Gerald's too smart to get smoked out by a bunch of rumors, but they're all I've got at the moment. In any case, we won't find our own two feet in all this dark. We should return to camp and get our bearings before... Hello there, house leaders! Hello, brave mercenary! We've mopped up what's left of those rascals, so what say we return to camp? And I insist you accompany us, good mercenary. Who, me? You heard the man. We'll wait out the night together and make for the village in the morning. It's a great plan, especially if you want to get paid, as we're a tiny bit short on pocket change at the moment. Yes, and those mercenaries you were looking for? Gerald's band, was it? They may be in Ramire village tonight, but there's no telling when they'll move on. If you come back to our camp, we have maps that may help you get one step ahead of them. This is clearly the wisest course of action. Not to mention that I would enjoy conversing with you further. Oh my. But of course, the choice is yours. Things ever be simple. All right, but just for the night. I do wonder what would happen if we did. Perfect. Then might I borrow you for a moment after we reach camp? And keep me if you. <laughs> I'm sorry. There is a matter we must speak about. Nothing alarming, I promise you. Right then. So off we go. But, um, if I may, did I hear you mention a Gerald earlier? Yes, do you know him? He heads up a pretty elite band of mercenaries, so I imagine his name has spread all over Fodlin by now. Hmm. Mercenaries, is it? No. No, it can't be him. Can it? Well, I'll just have to meet this Gerald myself. After I've seen my duties through, of course. After all, if I don't finish my assigned tasks, I'm mission the point. Haha, <laughs> there goes the pun. Let's begin. Get it? Missing? Mission? Come now, this is good stuff! <laughs> That's our Aloise. Come on, let's get moving before he really gets going. <laughs> Territory. I don't prep. After a battle, you'll be able to interact with your allies back at the camp. Press 80. 
your unit to talk to them. See? I can't. Settings do we have? to our humble base camp. <clears throat> I assume you are familiar with the officer's academy on the grounds of Garrick Mock. Terry, yes? If I'm honest. Three young people you assisted earlier are the heads of the academy's three houses. You'll find other students, teachers, and even members of the Knights of Saros here at this camp. I fear you caught us in the middle of an annual outdoor activity carried out at the beginning of the academy school year. That's concerning. But the situation became quite the mess when that band of brigands attacked us. I wish we could chat at length, but it seems the three class heads wish to speak with you. you. Alas, I cannot keep you all to myself. This is a great opportunity for you to bump squeeze. No. So since I um Edelgard wants to talk to us. She she did say she wanted to talk to the other. To You have my thanks. Let me begin by first conveying my gratitude to you, Blitz. We are in your debt. Speaking of which... Also, I examined a map earlier. The village where you are headed seems to be a little more to the east. You're kidding! Wait, east? Really? I have sworn it was west. Well, thanks for the tip. Now I got myself lost in the woods all over again. No. Don't be hard on yourself. This forest lacks the markers so easily find one's bearings. It's a little or it's a little wonder you floundered with you. In any case, you should be able to reach the village with no trouble by merely walking toward lunch. Port points. Port points signify the strength of a bond between two units. Units gain support points by giving appropriate answers and conversation, performing actions that make the other happy, or heading into battle together. By the way, we'll be staying until sunrise. Yes, I hope you'll take the opportunity to converse with the others here. Of course, now that I've sprung the idea on you so suddenly, you'll likely find yourself at a loss as to who to speak to. How about this? On that note, I would be more than happy to give you an intro introduction to any Blue Line House students. Okay, so I remember, I do remember, um, <clears throat> I do remember seeing or doing art, Just looking at every character. Your interest flatters me, but I'm afraid I find myself unsure of where to begin. Perhaps I'll have thought of a topic when next we speak. But, uh, you're leaving for that village soon, aren't you? Hey. Bird class, high lord. <laughs> Their lightning, king's might. Hmm. They do, they do, they do. do hails from the land they of do. Dusker. Perhaps you've heard of it. Really? He tends to keep <laughs> to himself. 
but he possesses one of the kindest hearts of anyone I know. I'm proud to call him my... vassal. Speak to him, and you'll see why. is the son of Duke Fraldarius. He has a sharp wit and even sharper tongue. But he's a good person at his core. I can attest to that. He has always admired strength above all else in a fighter. I imagine the two of you will make fast friends. <clears throat> is so. He's a mercenary. Sadie's. I only first met her here at the Academy. She seems a gentle soul with great inner strength. From what I understand, she has traveled far and wide throughout both the Empire and the Kingdom. Perhaps that explains her demeanor. So she's a monk. Class priest. Radiant love. Live to serve. He just full prison. Allies. Magic is used for. Then reduce. He's a. Uh... Oh. Abilities are. In the far south of Fargus lies a manor by the name of Castle Gaspar. Ash is the adopted son of that castle's lord, Lenato. He's an honest boy, well deserving of our trust. I'd like to get to know him better someday, should the opportunity arise. Fighter. Er. Annette. Annette is the hardest worker in the entirety of the Blue Lion House. She is truly brilliant. I could stand to learn from her single-minded devotion, if only little. Also a monk, her class may. Rages are looking recently to. Defeating third special grants a small increase. Time sunshine or an increased damage. Then, oh. Sylvain. Sylvain is the son of Margrave Gautier. You may have already noticed, but he's something of a womanizer. That Maybe putting it lightly, in fact. But despite his apparent indifference, he possesses great cunning and is quicker on his feet than anyone else here. I've known him long, so I'm well aware. Soldier Cap. Sylvain is the son of Margrave Gautier. But despite his. Oh, just a moment. the daughter of Count Galatea, and she is far more gallant than your run-of-the-mill knight. She has ever been straight-laced and diligent, even when we were but children. It is not an uncommon sight to find her scolding Sylvain for his indiscretions. Hmm. <laughs> Pegasus Knight. 
Galaxy Plane. I've been sent. Everyone, right? Okay, where is Cloud? Cloud. Hey there. Thanks. Hey, friend, appreciate what you did back there. I've been in a world of hurt without you. Hmm. Oh, regarding compensation, Eloise told me not to pay you personally. I guess they want to handle it. Church thing. Sorry about that. Hmm. Yeah, as long as I get paid, I don't care who's handling over or handing over. Them. <laughs> <laughs> You're definitely a mercenary, all right. Speaking of. Speaking of which, have you talked with the others here at camp? How's that? I can tell you a little bit about the students in my old dear house. Who, me? I'm more curious about you, personally. If you don't have anything better to do, I'd be glad to have you join us at Garrick Mock. Garrick Mock. Okay. Uh, let's see. Favorite Master. Interesting. Cloud leaders' acumen and insight. Have you met him yet? At first, I thought he was real serious and persnickety. But that image shattered pretty quick once I noticed him chatting up every girl in the monastery. Huh. Bruce is. Duty. Hilda's the only daughter of Duke Goneril. Seems like she had a pretty cushy life growing up. Hmm. Which means she's gotten into the habit of slacking off and making other people do things for her. Fighter, break it. Hmm. Oh. He's a pretty friendly guy. Though it'd be nice if he talked about something other than muscles. He comes from a merchant family, but his parents died in an accident. He's had it pretty rough. Let's get... He's a pretty friendly guy. He comes from a merchant... Scythia. Don't ever treat her like a child. I made that mistake earlier, and she nearly took my head off. But she's clearly the youngest out of this year's students, so I don't get what the big deal is. Just another pampered noble, I guess. Hmm. He's a monk. First expulsion, unsolved power, and virtuoso. Ignatz. Ignatz likes the great outdoors. Definitely more than the rest of us, anyway. He's the second son of a merchant family, but says he wants to be a knight. He doesn't really seem suited for it, though. Maybe his parents are making him do it. Hmm. Ignatz likes the- He's the second- Marianne. Oh, Marianne? She's Margrave Edmund's daughter, but that's all I know about her. She looks like she has- of sleep. She doesn't interact with the other students at all. I'll admit, she intrigues me. Oh, Mary. She doesn't interact. Leone. Leone wants to be a mercenary. I bet you two would have lots to talk about. You're both pretty frank, too. I just hope you're not as obsessed with saving money as she is. Hmm. Study what? Makings of a mer- Leone wants to be- You're both- Okay, I think we're good. Beans. Alright, now let's talk. Let's 
save again. This she forces us to scene. Thank you. Ah, there you are. Thank you for your assistance in the previous battle. I'd like to discuss your future if you have a moment. If you find yourself with no place to go after we accomplish our objective, I'm hoping we might hire you on the Empire. What do you think? I can promise you uh, you'll be handsomely paid, including the work you did today. So, what say you? Uh, the site will be asked for. Let's hire you. Uh, I'm not usually hired into service by people quite so high up. I have the food chain. Why have special attention? <laughs> Value your talent now that I've had the ability to see it firsthand. On another matter. By the by, have you spoken with the others here in camp? If you like, I can tell you a little bit about the students in my own Black Eagles. Well, you're certainly not timid. You do realize you're addressing the heir to the Imperial Throne, yes? Still, I suppose I admire that sort of freedom. It must be nice not to have your lot in life decided for you. Hey, she's a fighter, armored lord, so a prominent first prestige. Hubert of House Vestra is my attendant. His family is unusual in that they're noble, but lack territory of their own. Hubert is deeply loyal to me, and you can trust him completely. In fact, I imagine he's quite grateful for what you've already done. So he's a monk. Dark Conjurer. Exception. Officers in duty. Dorothy. That's Dorothea Arnold. She's an up-and-coming songstress in a famous imperial opera company. Or she was, at least. For some reason, she abandoned her musical career and enrolled in the Officers' Academy. She has a very magnetic personality, which I'm sure you'll see. <laughs> Punk, mage, magnetic resonance, songstress, centers. Have you spoken with Ferdinand? One conversation will explain him far better than I can. He's the heir to an influential house, which drives him to excel. But he can be quite the handful sometimes. I don't say. Have you spoken with Ferd? He's the heir to an influential house. Drop. Data. One of our classmates usually stays holed up in the dormitory instead of coming on these assignments. Her name is Bernadetta. If you bump into her, don't be surprised if she screams and runs away. That's sort of her thing. Hmm. Hey. Oh, she's a fighter, she's an archer. Personal space. Persecution top concealment. Caspar. Caspar is the second born son of a great and noble house. But as he's not the heir, you might say he joined the academy to make his own way. War and fighting are his sole pursuits, so I bet the two of you will get along just fine. And for the books, Fist of Justice, Peter. Petra. Petra isn't from the Empire. She's the granddaughter of the King of Bridget, which is an archipelago situated off our western coast. You'll find her a quick study, a gifted fighter, and endlessly curious. But always come prepared to talk, because she'll definitely want to pick your brain. I think... I think Bot said he liked this. Bot's a big fan of. Uh, so. These characters a lot more than I do. Um. But yeah, I'm pretty sure. He said he liked 
Electra. And I'm sure he he also said he like I think. Um remember him saying he Myr Myrodon Plus, I guess. Or same as not a mirror anymore, I don't know. Boon outland. Surely you know someone like Linhart. He's as bright as they come, yet just as lazy as well. That's simply how he is, though. I can't force him to apply himself, but he'll come around, most likely. Most likely. Bunk priest, easy breezy, catnap, magician. Okay. Looks like Dawn's almost here. Oh, Aloise. I see. Ah, Bliss, have you spoken with the house leaders yet? That's concerning. What? You're leaving? But that won't do. If I'm honest. Actually, I was hoping I could ask something of you. Did you hear me out? Sure. My sincere apologies for asking this of you. I know you're heading for Remire Village in order to find Gerald's mercenaries, but... Well, perhaps you might consider changing your mind and accompanying us to Garagmach Monastery instead. And why would I do that exactly? Because you've done us a great service and we don't have the means in camp to properly reward you. At the monastery, however, we can repay your kindness in full. Also, between you and me... This evening's turn of events was quite the embarrassment for the church. We allowed students of the Officers' Academy out of our sight, and house leaders of great political consequence at that. And then they crossed swords with bandits! If word got out, well, let's just say it would sit poorly with everyone. So you see why we must ensure you are well compensated. Also, there may be some papers for you to sign. Perhaps in blood. This sounds more like hush money than a reward. Yeah. Oops. Yes, that's exactly what I told the fool knight who suggested it. Me, I'd just as soon send you on your way, but I fear I'm obligated to escort you back. Anyway, the whole thing will be much easier if you simply agree to come along. Just as a formality, of course. I think that was a threat. And here I thought he was a big softy. Well, what do you think? Garrick Mock is in the opposite direction of where we need to be, but this man seems rather set on having us accompany them. Uh, except that you have no choice, agree to go of your own volition. I guess I'm not opposed to helping out a little more. I'll come with you to the monastery, but I'm not staying a single minute longer than I have to. Bless you, my friend. What a noble soul you are. What a noble soul you are. I'd say you saved my bacon, but that would be utterly hammy. <laughs> Alois, has anyone ever told you that you're... Don't. Some truths are simply too painful to bear. <laughs> While I'm no expert, I fear the poor man's heart couldn't handle the shock. Hmm? Told me what? Told you how dashing you are in that armor! <laughs> Not just any man can pull off that look. Ah, you like it? Wonderful. I admit, I've received no small share of positive comments on it. Hmm. There's a grand story behind every last ding and dent. Enough to keep me talking for a week. Why, take this one here. Oh okay. god. We heard you'll be joining us at Garrick Mock. Perhaps somewhat unwillingly, I might add? I know this wasn't in your plans, but if it lets us get to know each other better, perhaps it will prove worth it in the end. He is. Unwilling or not, we've got a long road ahead, so let's try to keep the mood light. 
I hesitate to ask this considering you're only here because of us. But, well, are you sure about this decision? The last thing we want is to delay you from your own business. The knights may seem unwilling to bend, but it's not as if you have no say in the matter. Lament your lack of choice. And by your decision. Actually, I see this as just another chance to better myself. I do wonder if this game does have like what paths, you know, like we said that we we chose not to go with them um, at the beginning, like we um like just them at all not go to the monastery that or this game has a Maybe I'll do that off stream. You are more gracious than I. That's the read. But as I see you've made peace with it, I will leave the matter be. Unless the game like forces us to, you know, go with them. Like even even though we have choices, you know, you know those games that they like they give us choices, but even though you choose the one that the opposite of what they want, they'll still make you know? Yes, yes, that's quite enough chatter. Let's save our energy for the road. To the monastery! To the monastery. Listen, I know this one's on me. I'm the one who roped you into coming back to camp after all. But I'll find a way to make it up to you, I promise. Keep your hopes proud. Thanks, Claude. I know you will. Hey! Hurry up back there, or we'll leave you behind! You know you've had a busy day when you rub shoulders with the heirs to the Empire, the Kingdom, and the Alliance. I think they're a fascinating group of people myself, but what do you make of them? What? Yeah. Seems like Edelgard thinks high enough of me. She's got this elegant air about her, but somehow doesn't hold any disdain for mercenaries. It feels like Dimitri's always checking in on me every chance he gets. He'll definitely make a good king. The kind who looks after his people. Claude's a laid-back kind of guy who doesn't really strike me as noble, and I mean that in a good way. Something tells me he's gonna be easy to work with. Hmm, work with you say. <laughs> of course you only pick up on their rosy qualities. You really are a delight. Have I told you that lately? Still, you'd better pick up the pace before you vex these people any further. Prologue. Three houses. Of the previous game. Deep in the forest, the mercenary meets a trio of youths, each a student at Gerig Mach's Officers Academy and a leader of one of the school's three houses. Striking down the bandit chief who attacked the students brings undue attention to the mercenary, who soon arrives at the hallowed gates of Gerig Mach. Seros. That looks like Hogwarts. <laughs> I say that to like every and castle fact, I see. May I present the mercenary I spoke of? Like every structure or kingdom so I see that's on a cliffside. <laughs> Greetings. My name is Rhea, and I am the Archbishop of the Church of Seros. Thank you from the bottom of my heart for rescuing our students. Pride. Remain humble. Hmm. 
I'm just glad I could help. Such modesty is not required around me. Your actions were truly commendable. However, the reason we summoned you here was not simply to express our gratitude. We have a proposal for you. One made on behalf of the church itself. What kind of proposal? Someone told you of the Officer's Academy here at the Monastery, yes? We would have you join this academy as a student. You what? Though you are a mercenary, I understand you are not currently beholden to any one particular employer. Also, the students you rescued are close to your own age. Your life could be greatly enriched here. Or she's heard about our power and wants to keep us on a short leash. Mm -hmm. And yet she's taking it almost as a given that we'll accept. It's infuriating. I need to get stronger if I'm gonna do what I need to. If your fancy school can really make that happen, consider me interested. The Knights of Seros, as well as many other powerful warriors, pass daily through the gates of this hallowed monastery. If strength is what you are after, we can certainly provide it in spades. They've really talked us into a corner here. I think I see where this is going. Eternal. All right, I'm in. A wise decision. We will do all we can to ensure you do not regret it. I believe you will go far. If I may, permit me to tell you a bit more about the school itself. The academy is divided into three houses and draws in the most promising young talents from every corner of Fodland. This guy reminds me of uh, Reginald Hargreaves from the academy. Some are noble-born, while others spring from more humble roots. But within these walls, all are treated as equals. We ask our prospects to spend a year living under the same dormitory roof, so they can challenge each other, work hard, and grow together. Each of our houses corresponds to one of Fodlin's three regions. Edelgard leads the Black Eagle House, which is for students from the Adrestian Empire. Dimitri leads the Blue Lion House, home to students from the Holy Kingdom of Fargus. And Claude leads the Golden Deer House, for students from the Leicester Alliance. We could select a house for you ourselves, but as all of this was our idea, perhaps we should leave this decision to you. You are something of a special case, after all. So I can join any house I want? Yes, you have simply to name it. Hmm. So, during this part, um, when I, you know, played the demo, um, those eagles tend to keep that decision. We're going with the... So you wish to join Edelgard's Black Eagles. Are you certain? Yep, that's the one. I'm sure of it. May you build wonderful and lasting friendships in your new house. Yeah. Well then, with that taken care of, it's time to decide which of us will supervise which house. Yes, it turns out we just underwent a last-minute roster change. I guess you two haven't met. This is Professor Yuritsa, our weapons instructor. Hello. Admire his ability. Nice meeting you, uh, sir. Don't load me up with too much homework, all right? 
Do my ears deceive me? Or is that curiosity I hear in your voice, Professor Yuritsa? I thought all the houses were the same to you. Perhaps you should be in charge of our new student's house, hmm? I don't care. You decide. Well, you'll certainly hear no objections from me. Professor Manuela, you and I can take charge of the remaining houses. What? It's decided already? I was at least expecting a fight. Maybe some hair pulling? <laughs> He's a freak. <laughs> okay. And as for you, my mysterious new student, I look forward to getting to know you much, much better throughout the year. Same here. <laughs> the gall of these people making decisions for you. It's enough to make one's head spin. Uh, right. In any case, I'm looking forward to learning from you, Professor Yuritsa. I'll inform you of our first mission soon. Sorry, what mission? Oh, did we fail to mention that? Each month, every house in the academy is given a mission entailing some form of service to the church. But students of the Black Eagle House are now playable. <laughs> Well, what do you think? I believe there is a very good chance it will work. Perhaps, Lady Edelgard. But is that chance not outweighed by the danger of matters going awry? We have managed to walk the nice edge so far. But what you are suggesting is open hostility. If they so much as catch wind of our intentions, things will go sideways very quickly. Regardless, this is our last opportunity to save her. Frankly, it's a miracle we even have the chance. I thought you once proclaimed not to believe in miracles, Lady Aegelgard. And I don't. At least not the kind one has to sit around and wait for. But right now, everyone is exactly where we need them. Her, the bandits, the string pullers, and the perfect instructor with the perfect mission. I wonder who her, who she's referred to. At first, I thought, I think when I, you know, played the demo, I think, I thought she was, I'm pretty sure, um, she was referring to this, since we chose the, you know, the female character, or female character for our character. I don't know. Probably isn't about us. Or yeah, I don't know who. She... I'm going to make this miracle happen, and I will do so for our future. Future. Hmm. Then we'd best have a plan in place to finish the job, in case they catch on. I expected you to burn a few bridges, but this plan would be akin to setting half the countryside on fire. Which is exactly why I'm counting on you, Hubert, and why I'm grateful to have you by my side. Welcome to the Black Eagle House. I'm pleased you selected us. Looking at that golden black uniform. Cool. Whoa, wait, what? You're a student now? And not only that, you're one of us? That's great! Wait, stop! I don't know this person! Oh, why are there so many new faces? I mean, why do you mean there's so many new faces? It's only me. I'm the only new face. That's what you get for skipping this year's first field excursion burn. A lot happened. There was even a bandit attack. Did you really not hear about any of this? Bandits? Now I'm extra glad I skipped out. <laughs> I must say, 
The church took a bold step in enrolling you, a decision which I, of course, fully support. You helped Edelgard, and we stand to learn quite a bit from one so skilled. Yes, I have eagerness to examine the fighting of mercenaries. We should be sparring, one versus one. If anyone needs me, I'll be asleep and... Wait, hold on. Do you have a crest? Did Professor Hanneman even check? Oh, he checked all right. Sorry to say I'm certifiably crestless. Strange. You definitely seem the type. But I suppose I'm just imagining it. Oh yeah, I mentioned this also when I played, played the demo, but... This guy has, like, the similar facial structure, at least, like, the similar look. Um, at least not his picture, like, in the corner there, but, like, his actual character model. He looks like Byleth. Like, his eyes looks pretty similar to Byleth's eyes. And I'm pretty sure he has, like, the same hair color as Byleth, or more. All but, um, yeah, he looks very similar to Byleth. Yeah, just wanted to point. And now you know the rest of our house. As you already met some of us in camp, I assume you knew what you were getting into. We may not be perfect, but we support each other as best we can. Please try your utmost to get along with everyone. Here approaches Professor Yuritsa. That makes all of us. Remember your mission? We are to eliminate the remaining members of the Iron King's thieves that attacked our camp. The chief, Costas, has already been struck down, and now only a scattering of brigands remain. Even with our limited experience, we should be able to defeat them handily. Good. Prepare yourself. Of course, Professor. Oh, he's gone. <laughs> so it would seem. Right then. We'd better get all of our waterfowl in a row. Wait, but I. I need to tell the professor I can't participate? Oh, good work, Bernie. Why didn't you speak up sooner? <laughs> I know what you mean. I never even got the chance to break out my best. Leave it to me, Professor. He's a real tough nut, that's for sure. Says just as much as he has to, then makes tracks. Strength and silence don't always go hand in hand, though. Indeed. Just look at Kaspar's father, Count Burglies. When that man shouts an order, it is so loud that the seas themselves part and the clouds retreat. Whatever the case, I expect all Black Eagles to participate in this mission, including you, Bernadetta. You can do this. And I look forward to seeing our mercenary friend here in action. <laughs> he... I swear, she's like... unintentionally or intentionally flirting with us. Express quiet confidence. Fire off a quip. Careful, Edelgard. If you set me loose out there, there won't be any bandits left for you. Hmm. Two weeks later. There you are, Yuritsa. I have word from the knights. It is time? Yes. The bandits have fled north into the canyon bordering Count Ro's land in the kingdom. But the knights have cut off their escape, and now stand ready to provide whatever support the students may require. We'll leave at once. I needn't remind you this is the first real battle for some of our charges. I trust you will keep them safe. Though I likely do not need to worry with an old hand like you at their side. No, you don't. You there. It's time for the mission. Gather the others. About time we saw some action. Oh boy. 
Lost sight of them? A shame to admit it, but yes. It's possible someone magicked the bandits away. But why go to that kind of trouble for a handful of highwaymen scum? So be it. We'll follow the blood scent. Right, of course. We'll follow... Wait, what? We're leaving. Everyone, follow me! Professor, wait! Well, he must have some idea where the bandits went. Let's hurry after him. Pathetic. Professor Yuritsa, you shouldn't charge ahead like that. It's far too danger... Wait, what is all this? <laughs> bandits! Dead by my hand. Yes, they look quite dead indeed. Are these the miscreants we were meant to deal with? How is one to tell? One uncouth ruffian looks much the same as any other. Do you know, Professor? Were you following some manner of lead? No, but it's them. They were trying to escape to that fortress. That fortress? Yes, Kaspar, that's what he said. Something you want to share? I do wonder why uh, Petra and Kaspar aren't wearing their uh, I guess blazer of sorts, whatever the overcoat thing that everyone else is wearing. Nope, it just seems suspicious. You're something else, Kaspar. Still, I guess the place does look kind of suspicious. We're near the border of the Kingdom and the Empire, but that is no Imperial outpost. It's not the Kingdoms either, and they're not flying any kind of banner. I'm guessing it's a bandit hideout. Edelgard's hair on her shoulder is just twitching. <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't know why I point that out, but it's just... The moment, like, the screen came up, like, my eye just went to her twitching hair on her shoulder. <laughs> then give us allowance to be storming their base and crushing them under our feet. It might be a little dangerous for us to handle on our own, Petra. Yes! I mean, I agree. We should all, um, go home. Right now. But the bandits might be inside. And they must answer for their crimes. It is our noble duty to finish them off before they can bring harm to another soul. This isn't about nobles, it's about doing the right thing, period. And striking down evil is the Caspar way. We'll be heroes if we manage to take out an entire bandit outpost. This is the kind of stuff I live for. Since when are you so gung-ho? Oh, right. Since always. Enough. This is not our decision to make. Professor Yuritsa? The mission stands. Enter the fortress. Dispatch any bandits you find. There are no signs of life. We may be chasing ghosts. Professor, are you having the ability to speak with ghost spirits? It is just an expression, Petra. It means there is probably no one here. Ah, I am understanding now. You have my thanks. This language has much peculiarity some of the times. Well, if that's settled, let us make ready. Make sure you're prepared before we head out. Victory conditions. Defeat the thieves. Defeat conditions. No. <laughs> Wonder. Save here. But I wonder what happens. We did save here. But I do wonder. What happens if we go back to the top screen? Will we come back to this battle or Let's see what happens?
Okay, so it does go back to the. Cool. Back. Uh, if that's the case, then we will call things here for the night. But we will continue this tomorrow. Because, again, this will be our Wednesday and Thursday game. Oh, hey, look! Got the two swords on the title screen now. Uh, yeah. Yeah, um, hoping everyone is enjoying this game so far. Uh, I know it's still the beginning parts. I just got through the tutorial and like the stuff, but we did. Well, we, you know, uh, we went to the monastery, we joined the academy, we joined Black Eagle House, and we're on our first mission. So we'll do that tomorrow and see what happens then. Until then, though, everyone, have a great rest of your night or day, depending on what time it is for you. Um, uh, yeah, <laughs> I'll be back tomorrow with more Bramlin Warriors. So, see you guys then.